Hey everybody, it's Dustin again with the WebEx Devices team. And on this episode of the WebEx Edge, we're gonna talk about the Dust Pro. Specifically, we're gonna look at uh, kind of showing you uh, uh, how to uh, change your virtual backgrounds, enable virtual backgrounds on a Dust Pro, as well as a little bit of a sneak peek um, to being able to manually adjust your camera on the Dust Pro. So it's a feature that's been asked for. Everyone's been really excited about the Dust Pro. Uh, we're gonna give you a little sneak peek. If you're in an EFT right now, you're probably able to test this out. If not, stay tuned, um, it's coming, and uh, it'll be generally available uh, within the coming weeks to months uh, for everybody, uh, providing that the EFT goes well. So um, let's just stop talking about it and get right into it here. Now I'm gonna give you a little bit of a warning. Um, you're gonna be seeing me twice. You're gonna see me down here in the bottom left of your uh, screen. Uh, you're seeing my desktop right now. You'll also be seeing a pip of me, and, uh, and to kind of show you why, um, this, is a, this is my desktop right now, but um, this is actually uh, a view of the Desk Pro uh, interface. So uh, one thing to show you here is, is if I touch my Desk Pro, you'll see that my UI comes up. And that's important because I want to be able to show you how to turn these things on. Um, so to get started, we're going to bring back up our UI here. In the upper left-hand corner, I'm going to click on my name. This is a personal mode device, but this is where you're going to have your uh, system name. Uh, so on any Desk Pro, you would um, touch the screen, upper left-hand corner, and you're going to go to settings here. And in settings, you'll see in the middle, this under advanced features, there's the virtual backgrounds menu. When I click on it, I need to make sure that this is actually toggled on. And you see there, I just turned mine on. Um, that's what's gonna enable the, the virtual backgrounds. Now, by default, you're gonna get a couple um, uh, options for you. You're gonna have the ability to do the blur, and we're gonna demo all these here in just a second. Um, you'll be able to use your uh, USB-C or HDMI input as a virtual background as well. We'll demonstrate what that means. Um, you're going to have the option to upload three custom virtual backgrounds, and then you're going to have the three uh, stock backgrounds, which has come default with the device. So all in all, it gives you a lot of options to be able to uh, play with in regards to uh, background replacement or virtual backgrounds. So let's get started. So I'm going to touch my screen here again. In order to bring up my self view, I'm going to hit the uh, self view icon in the upper right hand corner. And you'll see here, here I am twice. So you see me both times because uh, I'm using the Desk Pro camera for this recording. Um, and um, you see that I've got the uh, another little sneak peek here as we're going to have some titles coming to the uh, uh, facial recognition features. Um, so you see here that this is my self view. Um, when I bring it up and I click on it, you'll see that I actually have a new uh, menu now. I have the ability to adjust camera view or change background. Now that's new, um, and we're going to go to the adjust camera view here in a second, uh, give you a, uh, a sneak peek there. But I'm going to bring this up and I'm going to hit change background. And here's where you're going to see, because I've enabled that feature, all of the settings that I have available for me, uh, including the, the stock ones. So I could be here uh, on a beach, as you see there. Um, and these are the these three are the ones that are, are kind of built in by default. I also have the ability to upload some custom ones. You'll see here that I went to just starwars.com. They had some, uh, here I am on the Millennium Falcon. Uh, so I can upload some custom images. Um, this right here is one showing a newsroom background. And you'll see it's, it's, a, it's because I'm using this as a, my webcam, uh, you're seeing both of these here. Um, I also have the ability to do just a standard blur. Uh, what you see here on the background, it blows everything out. You guys have seen me do some videos. I've done these before. I've actually also done something that, that's a little bit tricky. It's not in a part of this yet, but we do a, a blur, that kind of a monochrome where it kind of makes everything uh, black and white for you. And then we also have the ability to do um, the, um, uh, the PC. So you'll notice here, this is actually the same background of the, of the PC, or in this case, the Mac that I'm using here. And just to kind of show you what that would, would look like is I'm going to bring up a... Um, a Safari window here and just bring it over. This is actually my Desk Pro, but you can see here I could have a, a video or, or some sort of motion going on the background, and uh, and that basically allows my desktop to become my virtual background. So in a way, kind of like an advanced green screen, if you will. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn that off uh, for sake of, of right now so you can see that, and I'm going to minimize this. We're going to come to that in a second. Um, Next thing I'm going to do is, uh, since I'm here, I'm going to show you how we adjust the camera view. So this option up top is pretty new. Uh, it's brand new. Um, and when I bring it up, you're going to see here that by default, I've got my best overview, uh, which is going to do the automatic panning. So as I stand up here, you'll see that it does the up and down, the automatic. It's going to automatically try to frame me in the best light possible. But what I can do is I come in here and if I turn that off, you'll notice now that if I stand up, it's not going to follow me because I'm doing manual controls. So I can manually go up, down. I can zoom out. I can zoom in. So we get a really, uh, really close um, but if I have this turned off, it's going to stay in this position for me. 
So feature that's been uh, requested, it's coming. I kind of want to give you guys a, a sneak peek on that and show you how that would work. So now here's what we're going to do. We're going to turn this off and let's bring back up uh, Safari. And here I am inside the, uh, the Desk Pro here. And what I want to just do is show you that if you have a Desk Pro, as long as you can log in directly or go to Control Hub and do a, uh, a cross launch, you can now come in here and go to your setup and you can go to personalization. Inside of personalization, you'll see this new tab here called virtual backgrounds. And this is where you can go through and upload. Uh, and you see I have my three here. So I can uh, delete these or I can replace these or I can just hit browse. It's going to bring up uh, an option for me to be able to uh, upload my own image. But once I, uh, this is where I would go to be able to create my, my virtual ones. So you see here that I have deleted this one from my uh, inventory, my carousel here. So now when you go back and I do my change my background, you'll notice that it is no longer there. So this is gonna be directly feeding this menu for you. Now we are gonna look at making this um, to where you can do it um, easier from a, an admin uh, perspective. Um, and uh, you'll be able to um, do this from Control Hub um, or be able to do some bulk uploads or bulk changes. But for right now, this is how you're gonna be able to do it. Uh, I just wanted to share that with you because a lot of people have been very excited about this. Um, I hope you're excited about these features. Um, please, if you have any more questions, comment below. Uh, always look forward to doing these videos and uh, hope we'll see you guys and stay safe out there.